Hernán Cortés de Monroy was born in Medellín, Spain in 1485. He belonged to a noble, but not rich family, in 1499. The young man was sent to study at the University of Salamanca. As his parents planned that his son would become a lawyer, Hernán was not distinguished by modesty and diligence. So after two years he was expelled. So by the age of 16, the young man turned out to be free from obligations and dreamed of repeating the conquering exploits of Christopher Columbus, who by that time had already visited the New World. Taking advantage of the high position and reputation of the invader, Hernan Cortes could choose any girl. He preferred the concubine Malinche, who had linguistic skills. The girl gave birth to the son of Martin from Cortes, but was not the only one in the Spaniard's personal life. In 1514 Hernan married Catalina, Juarez Marcada and married Malinche. It is believed that Cortes had more than 10 children from the Aztec princesses and even from the daughter of Montezuma. All of them became heirs of the conqueror in 1504. Cortes set out on a journey to the West Indies in search of Indian treasure. Becoming the secretary of the Cuban governor Diego de Velázquez, he visited the territory of America in 1511, once on the island of Santo Domingo. He showed cruelty in suppressing the protests of local residents who opposed foreigners. The man participated in the conquest of Cuba led by Diego Columbus, son of Christopher Columbus, by 1518. The Spaniard had heard rumors of Aztec gold hidden in the Yucatan Peninsula. Two expeditions were undertaken towards Mexico in order to reach the territory inhabited by the Aztecs. The third campaign de Velázquez entrusted to lead Cortés in 1519. Hernán Cortés set out from Havana, leading 11 ships. Pirate activity arose in the biography of the pioneer precisely in this campaign. He robbed the port of Macau, captured a merchant ship in Trinidad and a small town at the mouth of the Tabasco River. Hernan Cortes reached the site where the city of Veracruz was later founded and began negotiations with Montezuma, the Aztec emperor. He tried to pay off the conquerors. But the thirst for prey among the conquistadors turned out to be stronger than the ability to compromise. Then Cortes moved deep into Mexico and conquered the state of Tlaxcalan, which was at war with the Aztecs. The appearance of Cortes resembled the image of the god Quetzalcoatl, who, according to legend, was supposed to appear on the ship. Tradition said that he was the founder of the country. Therefore, the Aztecs decided that the appearance of Cortes was the fulfillment of a prophecy and did not resist the seizures. In a desire to realize the plans, Cortes destroyed the city of Cholula, where the temple of Quetzalcoatl was located, and two weeks later moved to attack Tenochtitlan, the capital of the Aztecs. Montezuma met foreigners, generously endowed them, showed Cortes the city, but did not prevent the attack. Hernan Cortes instigated the murder of Montezuma. He managed to escape punishment from the Aztec Avengers and capture Tenochtitlan. These lands became known as New Spain and the city Mexico City. In 1524, Cortes undertook a campaign in Honduras in search of an outlet to the Pacific Ocean. Hernan accompanied several more expeditions deep into Mexico, during which he discovered the mountains and coast of the Gulf of California for achievements. He was presented with the title of chief commander and the status of governor. In the conquered lands, Cortes spread Christianity. He was also an explorer of the American lands. In 1540, Hernan Cortes participated in the campaign of Charles V against Muslim pirates in Algiers. He repeatedly requested permission to return to New Spain, but received only refusals. Hernan Cortes died in 1547 near Seville, being in disgrace in power, the cause of death was dysentery. Initially, his ashes were buried in the family crypt, but 15 years later, they were redirected to Mexico, the remains were interred about eight times.